black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 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 what up world? Back with another one. Today we're sliding into home plate. Uh, I say that because if this isn't a home plate, I don't know what is. It is a Thanksgiving leftovers spread and uh, dead ass. I couldn't be more excited. So let's get right into it and uh, just chat. Your man is really out here with a whole turkey leg. I came equipped. Our turkey was ginormous and in my family, luckily for me, they're not really into the to, to the dark meat so much. So I get to have like the wings and the legs and stuff like that. But I do like the white meat as well. Uh, before we do anything, of course, we must a pour up. And today we have Diet Pepsi, cherry, closest I could get to uh, the Diet Dr. P. And yes, this is a little flat. It's a little disappointing. I know, I'm sorry, but we must still taste it. Sure as. Sure is. That's nice. Very, very good. I love Diet Cherry Pepsi, to be honest. Okay, so what do we got? We got two utensils, and of course, we came with some buns, some soft rolls, because we're gonna build a couple little sandos. You know what I mean? You gotta build like a little leftover. If it's leftovers, you gotta make yourself a little leftover sando. So we're gonna do that. But stuffing, carrots, heavy on the rosemary. We have mashed potatoes mashed out to like semi chunky, not too whippy. Mac and cheese, light cayenne kick in there. Got some cheesy broccoli with peas and Brussels sprouts. I got some random bacon that I had basically par cooked in the fridge. And then we got the white meat back here. And of course the leg. If I'm being really, really real, the first thing I want to do is build a sandwich. But before that, I want to say what I'm thankful for. And that's for anybody watching this video and anybody that's newly subscribed. Thank you for joining the channel. I'm almost at 50K. That's a pretty crazy milestone. So I'm pretty thankful to be close to that. And I'm just excited to keep pushing further on and just keep doing what I do and just have fun. I just love having fun on this channel and uh, just step up my content, um, be consistent, grind introduce you to new things down the road here, some more music and stuff. So yeah, I'm thankful for it all. These rolls are real, real nice. See, you can already tell, nice and soft. Kinda wanna just half it, but as you can see, it's super nice and soft. And build up a guy. So what must we do? First things first, we must get some nice chunks of the white turkey. Kind of spread them out a little bit so they're more flat. Cool, that's good. Of course, we're gonna add some bacon. Gotta be, gotta be bacon. Cause turkey and bacon goes together so well. So we got the salty of the turkey and the bacon. You know what, let's just do everything. We got some mac and cheese going in. Turkey bacon mac and cheese. Why not? Obvi. Seems like a no-brainer to me, don't you think? I'm definitely gonna want, ooh, that mac and cheese is so nice. Some stuffing in there, of course. I don't know that I need the mashed potato. I want some of this cheesy broccoli and peas in there though too as well, I can't lie. 
Okay, so we've got we've got all of this. Yes, there's only one thing left to do. I don't have any cranberry, but I do have red pepper jelly. Cranberry is not too much of a thing in my house. Red pepper jelly, on the other hand, is totally a thing. If you never had red pepper jelly, you're missing out, my dudes. Tell me you're not trying to have a bite of that. Of course you are. Thanksgiving in a bun. So what am I getting? What am I getting most here? Mm, the stuffing flavor and the red pepper jelly. Mm -hmm. Just landed in some turkey. Yeah, no mm -hmm. Getting mad ro rosemary now. Every bite is like a little different. I can't lie. That's crazy dynamic. Thanksgiving is so interesting because Every family's got their own little tweaks. Everybody does everything that's a little different. Everybody's got their traditional dishes and, you know, Aunt Cindy brings this and Uncle John does this and, you know what I mean? Let's see what this guy's about. Should I just go full savage on it? Unless we could pull it apart. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to talk about your food and your traditions and kind of what goes down at your at your place for Thanksgiving. Mmm, that was really good. Like for example, you know I had to bring some Franks for it too, come on. Had to go down. If we're having any poultry. So mm -hmm. My family, like a bunch of us, we like the turkey cooked like quite well, almost borderline dry. We're not into moist turkey, like juicy or whatever. I like it so it has those good striations, those good strands.
Mm hmm. So that is fire. But I don't want to fill up on that specifically. So yeah, unfortunately, the only thing I was missing is I didn't have any gravy. So the mashed tates are just straight up. I'm, I am mean, missing the gravy. What else could I put on here? Nah, not hot sauce. Let's have them like this. Mm. They're super good. We put uh, a shit ton of butter and a bunch of Gruyere cheese in them as well, so lots of flavor. Another weird family quirk of mine is we always do two, two stuffing the, in the turkey one and stove top. I myself am trailer trash and prefer stove top. It's so good. I love stove top. I feel as if stuffing is usually one of my favorite items on the plate. Mmm. Yeah, the mac and cheese is good. Mm hmm. Can't go wrong with cheesy broccoli. really really good I'm not sure when the American Thanksgiving is but I think it's in November shout out to your American Thanksgiving I hope when you guys have it it's enjoyable It's always enjoyable. How's it not? Well, unless you're away from your family and you're sad. And it's a lonely one. Then that kind of sucks. But as long as you're, as long as you're sitting down to a plate like this, it's good. It's definitely good. But that being said, on this type of occasion, some people don't even, don't have a plate. So... And that's why we're thankful, right? Because we are lucky and do have have food on our plate and a roof over our head and family that cares about us and all the things that we need to be thankful for. And I am, <clears throat> I don't want to contaminate the whole jar here. It's a household jar. Well, that's even smart. Just, yeah, put your finger in it. That's probably even better. Better than my mouth, I guess. But yeah, I'm thankful for where I'm at. My life is by no means where I'd like it to be. Um, in terms of like a dreams, goals, sense but like I'm on my way to doing these things end of the day I have more than enough I have my health I have good family You know, I have a roof, food, hot water, fresh water, drinking water, an abundance of food, knickknacks, gadgets, internet, everything you need. 
place to lay my head, I have it all. I have a semi-successful YouTube channel. That is my own small business that I can pretty much make a living at almost. So it's like, you know, could be a lot worse. <laughs> It's all good. I really don't need anything else other than to self-actualize in certain areas of my creative pursuits that are still dreams that I haven't manifest manifested into true fruition yet, but I just gotta keep keep pushing on, keep trying. That's the only way I'll ever find out if these are things that are. destined for me or whatever like if I'm supposed to receive these are not but I love doing them so I'll just keep doing them I am now full basically so we'll call it there I was a huge board of food What can I say? So good. I'm very thankful to have it. So, shout out to you for watching this video. If you stay to the end, thank you very much. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.